Alicia Williams is a ninth grade English teacher. Alicia went to Dominican Republic, a healthy person. Family members of Williams says she went to the Dominican Republic for medical procedures, but passed away days later. And she came back in a casket. My sister Alicia was absolutely set on having this Brazilian butt lift. You could not change her mind. She wanted to go to the Dominican Republic to get the surgery because it was cheaper and the doctors would do as many surgeries as you wanted at one time. She had been planning this for the last two years. She made this book called New Body Under Construction. She had the surgery fees and the after procedures to do this. I tried to convince her to have the surgery done in the United States because it would probably have been much safer for two months ago, Alicia flew to the Dominican Republic. Not only was she going to get a Brazilian butt lift, she was going to have a tummy tuck, she was going to have lipo to the arms and back, and she was going to have hips put in. A few days later, the nurse texted me. They were going to take her to the hospital to have a blood transfusion. I was thinking, what is really going on over there? The next morning, I was up getting ready for work and I noticed that I had missed a few phone calls from the nurse. I called her back and that's when she told me the devastating news that my sister had passed. Well, please welcome Alicia's sister, Stacy. So sorry for your loss. I, I just can't even imagine. You, you just don't expect that this is gonna happen. And you said your sister did tons of research before this procedure, right? This is the notebook that you have? Yes, um, she did a lot of research. For about two years, she was excited and she had put in her notebook that she'll be home sweet home in 14 days. Yeah. You aren't a big fan of this decision. I wasn't a big fan of her going to the Dominican Republic to get the surgery, but I wasn't opposed to her having the surgery. Why do you think going out of the country is so dangerous? Um, I think it was dangerous because, first of all, my sister couldn't speak the language. So she had to communicate through a translator. Was it cheaper? I think she spent between five and six thousand dollars versus in the United States for all the things that she had done and wanted done. It would have been about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Going to a foreign country, they have different medical rules Correct. than they have here. Uh, they allow too many procedures at one time yes. in a medical, because they know you're, it's a destination. You're coming there to get it all done, so they want to all do it in, in one trip. And I think this language barrier would be huge, because if you're asking questions or having symptoms, explaining it uh, would be very scary. How did you find out that she had passed? I got the phone call. And she said, Stacy, I'm sorry to tell you that your sister didn't make it. Yeah, and I guess people don't know, but the mortality rate with this procedure is 10 to 20 times greater than the average aesthetic surgical procedure performed by accredited physicians. And as many as one in 3,000 die, exactly. which is huge. Yes. Uh, definitely. Now, despite all of these cautionary tales, the Brazilian butt lift is in high demand. Now, we're going to meet a woman who is planning her surgery as we speak and has every intention of moving forward with it.